We have the traditional three festival races, the Secretariat, the Beverly D, and Million, all grade one uh, stakes races. And we've added the American St. Ledger uh, two years ago to that portfolio, which is run at a mile in 11 16th. So it's a great distance race for a European horse. And what's the deal, you know, if someone says, yes, I'd love to run my horse in one of the races, do they get subsidies? What sort of help do you give them? Yes, there's a subsidy for the horse as well as a subsidy for the owner, the trainer, and the jockey to come over. And then once they get there, they're treated to an international uh, service that they don't seem to get anywhere else. And we take great pride in that. And that's something that's come down from our chairman, Dick Duchessois, is that when uh, the folks come to run in the International Festival of Races, they're treated like they wouldn't be anywhere else. They're treated like royalty. Mm, sounds good to me. And I think one of the strengths of Arlington, it is quite a European-style track, isn't it? So that's why so many people like to target it. Yes, the turf course is world-renowned and probably the best in the United States without signing too much of uh, of the ego. But the trainers tell us they love the course because even when it does rain and it runs soft, uh, the Europeans love it, and then uh, the turf here has been firm for a while, so if it's dry, they could also run on a firm turf. You say you've added the, the American St. Ledger. I mean, that looks tailor-made for a European, really, doesn't it? Because the, the American horse is not really used to going the extreme distances. Uh, that's correct. Last year, uh, Dan Dino won it the year prior, Jackalberry, but mm. uh, finishing second was uh, by a half a length where uh, was an American horse each uh, each time. So uh, it's something that American uh, horses can do, and some of the other racetracks are adding the distance races in order to draw more Europeans over. So we're hoping that they'll follow the lead, and these races will become more popular in the States, and we'll see more European contingency. So obviously it's a program that, that's developing. Is, are there any plans to add maybe another race next year or the year after? Are you, are you looking at that? We would probably look to add another race in uh, 2016. We need to get the St. Ledger. It's listed this mm -hmm. year. It'll be graded next year, which will make it a little more interesting for the Europeans to come over. Now they'll get the black type uh, uh, ratings. And uh, I think once it's graded, it'll uh, with a $400,000 purse, you'll get a little more interest. So onwards and upwards then? Onwards and upwards always.